By all huge news dropped yesterday is Craft and Purchases Tango Gameworks and Hi-Fi Rush IP. Logan Moore of comicbook.com tells us all about it. In a shocking move, developer Tango Gameworks and its IP Hi-Fi Rush have been purchased by Crafton, the company most notably behind the Battle Royale shooter PUBG. Earlier this year, Microsoft made the decisive or divisive decision to close Tango Gameworks. Dude, that was a killer. We all kind of went, what happened here, right? But in the process, kill off many of the potential future of, or any actual potential future, we should say, of Hi-Fi Rush. However, well, something's changed. <laughs> Dude, I just, I'm, I'm like, wow, really? Now, rather than keep the studio closed, well, that's for sure. Microsoft has instead opted to sell the developer to Craft to Crafton, where it will now look to double down on the Hi-Fi Rush franchise. In a new press release, Crafton announced that his purchase Tango from Microsoft and Bethesda parent company ZeniMax Media. With the purchase, with the purchase, Crafton also acquired the rights to Hi-Fi Rush, which it says will now look to expand upon with quote future projects end quote as Tango's other major franchises such as The Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo it seems those will remain with Microsoft quote Craft and Inc today welcome the talented people of Tango Gameworks to their team many uh, mar marking an exciting moment in the company's global expansion and its first significant investment in the Japanese video game market this strategic move will include the rights to Tango Gameworks acclaimed IP Hi-Fi Rush end quote Crafton announced, quote, they continued on. As part of the strategic agreement, Crafton intends to collaborate with Xbox and ZenMax. Dude, this is the weirdest part to me, right? Because we're going to take your company, we're going to own it, but we're still going to work with you to then put it on your... I get that part, but it just seems like such a weird move because Xbox probably should have never let them go in the first place, which we'll get into here in a second. Either way, to ensure a smooth transition and maintain community at Tango Gameworks, allowing the talented team to continue developing the Hi-Fi Rush IP and explore future projects. Craft intends to support the Tango Gameworks team to continue its commitment to innovation and delivering fresh and exciting experiences to fans. Michael, you excited for this now or what? I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. I am curious what that studio's going to look like because, I mean, this was shut down a few months ago, right? I don't know how many of the developers had the luxury of being able to hold around, hope they get purchased. So now I have to wonder, in the back of my mind, how many original devs are we going to have on a sequel or whatever future project we get? And how many new devs are we going to get? Will that change the feeling of the series? That's kind of where I am in terms of just thinking about this next game. I'm pumped, though. Don't get me wrong. I am super pumped about this. I mean, PUBG is one of those games that has been around forever. If there's anyone I trust to kind of help this studio yeah. continue going around, it is going to be crafting. I'm just curious if there's, you know, a game dev or someone who really put a lot of passion on it, who studio had shut down, has to find a new job. Now they can't transition back, and we kind of get a little bit of a swap going into the next Hi-Fi Rush game. But super pumped. Crazy news, as you and I talked off right before the show started, that just kind of came out of nowhere this weekend. I am very, very down for whatever we get from Tango Gameworks for this next Hi-Fi Rush game. No, I think this is very exciting. I'm very curious to see the minute they were announced as closing down, if Crafton just swept in, say, hey, nobody go anywhere. We got you covered. We like to pick this up and move it forward, right? Obviously, this whole deal takes months. Crafton at this point is probably being in conversation. Maybe even maybe they got scooped beforehand. Nobody knows the inside details, right? Yeah. But Tango got shut down. They were blindsided. Honestly, at the end of the day, they probably had no idea that what was happening at all. Now, granted, when we take a look back, Matt Booty went on the conversation to say, hey, you know what? Some of the top dogs have left already. So, Tango Gameworks, this is it the Tango Gameworks that made The Evil Within, Ghostwire Tokyo, right? Yeah, some of those developers are still there, but the head honchos and all them, they kind of, they drifted and went out elsewhere. So, very curious to see what the future does hold. How, the, here's a the, here's the sad part about it, though. Like, at the end of the day, a lot of the gamers won't even realize that it'll hold the team or parts of the old team that are making Hi-Fi Rush 2. They're just going to see Hi-Fi Rush 2 and go, yeah, we're in. Which is great, right? But a lot of us who are hardcore know what's going on, and then we're already in on the industry, right? But to see what the bigger move is, I think this is excellent for crafting. It allows them to diversify their library, expand on their reach, their potential. I don't 
I hope we don't see any crossovers between PUBG. We saw that with Callisto Protocol. That was supposed to be a crossover. It didn't really work out all that well. We'll see how that looks in the future. And there's even another statement on that one. That's a whole other topic. Either way, to see Tango Gameworks get picked up, keep their, hopefully most of the team together, is an exciting thing for this industry who's seen nothing but layoffs.